he's clearly making a play for the vice presidential slot on either an Elizabeth Warren or Bernie Sanders ticket. I mean, it's, uh, it's obvious. Uh, no, it's exactly as you described it. Uh, if you realize the gains from your increased share price after the buybacks, uh, you get to pay a favorable tax rate. By closing that gap, it's precisely as Elon put it. I'd actually like to quote Rubio here because I think he, he said it well. Tax policy changes to end this preference might, on their own, increase investment by shifting shareholder appetite for capital returns. Now, we can have good debates whether such uh, tax tweaks actually do end up uh, leading companies to invest more deeply in CapEx. I'm actually pretty soft on that point. I haven't seen a lot of evidence to support it. However, it is a very rational point of view. I think what's so, uh, I think what's so interesting politically here is uh, precisely where he's aligning himself. Democrats have been going full bore against the buybacks really as a way to critique the tax cut. Because during the tax cut debate, Republicans said, no, there's not gonna be a bunch of buybacks. There's gonna be a bunch of corporate investment and that's just patently turned out to be false. So, Jim, uh, yeah, let, let Jimmy, let, let, would, j ahead. jump yeah. on in. Let me let me try and tee it up with a question here. All right. Uh, Jared makes the point that that the the tax cuts were supposed to fuel investment and research and development, capital investment, and so forth. The evidence is that buybacks have skyrocketed, and capital investment has relatively not done so. But isn't it the decision of the board and the CEO, the management of the company, to decide how to deploy their capital? And if they don't need to put more money into plant and equipment uh, and, and, and R&D, they won't, if it's the better use of capital. No. I certainly don't want the government trying to direct companies to put their capital in this place or that place. It's one thing to, take, to, to cut a tax to take a barrier away and then allowing market forces to direct where capital is deployed. It's quite another to use a tax code to direct capital in certain places. Look, uh, Senator Rubio three years ago wanted a 0% tax rate on capital gains. Now, three years later, he wants, I don't know, um, a 40% uh, tax rate on capital gains. I think he needs to do a better job explaining the shift from then until now, uh, so that, there's a problem there. Well, but he doesn't Republicans want it on all capital gains, Jimmy. Cut. He doesn't want it on all capital gains. He wants it only on those that derive from right. from stock buybacks. I mean, uh, that, well, that, that's an important right, distinction. I'm not sure well, that's but let's be cl Well, let's be clear. Uh, Republicans have a problem. The tax cut does not seem to be acting the way they had hoped. Now, there's two other plausible explanations. One, uh, we have higher interest rates, which, which have impacted the, the influence of the tax cut. Of course, a deficit finance tax cut uh, stimulus may have played a role in those higher rates. And two, we have a trade war creating a lot of uncertainty for business. Maybe Republicans should focus on those two things rather than creating, stealing a Democratic idea, which has very little basis in economic Jared, research. The other thing that's